We are so pumped to have the 3M open here in Blaine. This brings about $50 million of economic impact to not just Blaine, but the region, but so much of that comes right back into Blaine. Uh, we've seen over the last few days, our restaurants are packed, our businesses are seeing a huge increase. This is just exactly what we needed at the right time to help our businesses, our restaurants, our amenities really kind of turn the corner of what's been a really challenging time. We have really used this as a great opportunity for us to bring local business owners, but really prospective businesses to Blaine, to really get them to come up to the North Metro for us to showcase not only to them, but to the rest of the world, how great Blaine is. All of the, the opportunities for them to invest in our city. Uh, and so we've been really aggressive in, in really going out after the types of businesses and amenities and restaurants that we know our constituents want to see, but also our visitors want to see. And so we know that as these kind of groups uh, and these organizations and these events continue to expand, uh, that we're just going to need to be able to facilitate more of that. And so we're just really excited about the opportunity to showcase Blaine. This is just a, a it's really been a catalytic uh, July for us, really. We've got the Target USA Cup, the 3M Open right after that. But then our, our great local activities are just getting started. And so, you know, all the, the concert series, Night to Unite's coming up the first Tuesday in August, which we're super pumped about. Uh, but just all the different community events that will be happening throughout, which you can go to our website and learn more about. But it's just, we're, we're just getting started. All of this, uh, you know, time for our community to come together and celebrate each other and celebrate playing. I will say that I love music, especially outdoor music. So any, any of the concert series in the park, uh, we try to hit those up. We really enjoy uh, outdoor music and especially some of the great venues we have. I got to thank our, our legislative delegation uh, and so many people that worked so hard. We were able to secure eight and a half million dollars, seven million of which is cash uh, for us to complete all of the pre-planned development work for Highway 65. So really by February, we should have a plan that we can disclose to the public, that we can get some input on uh, for what Highway 65, with that journey of upgrading and improving Highway 65 will be. So, you know, we, we really worked hard. We told Blaine residents we were gonna be aggressive. We were gonna work those relationships with the state, the federal government, uh, and with the county to really make improvements to Highway 65 a priority. And, you know, we're just thrilled that we're at that spot to have received the money, to receive the prioritization. Uh, so now we are, we're at that spot now where it's just finalizing the plan and going to get that construction dollars, which really all the heavy work is done. Uh, now it's just securing that and we're gonna work as hard as we can to make sure that residents and businesses have the least impact possible during construction. We know it's gonna be a bit of a painful time, but what product we get after that is gonna just be so tremendous for Blaine and for the whole region. When you host an event like this, it's exciting, uh, but safety has to be number one, it has to be paramount. So the collaboration that I've, I've seen with our, you know, and it all starts with our Blaine Police Department here, but bringing in the Anoka County Sheriff's Office to uh, even the FBI uh, and just uh, EMS and Alina, uh, fire protection, everybody to run an event like this, to run Target USA Cup, uh, it's just amazing to see them run a unified command uh, to continue to build those relationships and keep everybody safe as, as well as still being able to, to keep our residents safe. This is a very large city and so we have a huge event, but we still have 70,000 residents that we're responsible for. So just all the thanks in the world, they're absolutely tremendously professional and we're, we're grateful for the, the police and fire and, and safety services that we do have here in the city. You know, I think the big thing is just come to Blaine. We've got a lot going on. Uh, we want as many visitors to come and experience our, our great city. We've got a lot of sports happening, but we have a lot of great recreation as well. So come and visit our parks and our trails and uh, come and stay.